that hey guys so a couple of days ago i tried um connecting my domain email with my gmail app so i can get my email straight to my gmail app and don't have to always log into my cpanel to see my emails but uh, i was getting this error and after trying to i mean i just adjusted a few settings but uh, i was still getting an error I was actually able to do this before, but something happened, I had to remove the emails from my um, Gmail app and now I'm trying to get them back, it's becoming an issue, but I'll fix it later on, but for now, I'm just going to be using forwarders. That is what I'm going to be explaining in this video, how you can create forwarders for your and domain emails to your Gmail app. Alright, with that said, let's begin. Alright, so here I am on my cPanel. I only know the cPanel way of doing this. So if you're using some other hosting service that doesn't offer a cPanel with email then I, I can't help you in this video but you can watch to understand how it works and um, after I'm done creating the forwarders I'm going to explain how they work so stay tuned for that. Anyway so once you're on the cPanel on your hosting provider you want to scroll down until you get to the email section. Alright so this is the email section right here so tap forwarders. I think I should just explain how the forwarders work for now. Um, so, you have your Gmail app and your email, that is your domain email, and then whenever you receive an email from your domain email, it's going to send a copy to your Gmail app, which is your Gmail address. To me, it's basically like a notification because you won't always have the time to always come to your cPanel to check if you have an email. But um, when the copy of the email is sent to your Gmail app, you can read it from there and then you would have to log into your cPanel email to reply to the individual who emailed you if you have to. Don't make the mistake of replying via your Gmail app because it's not going to reply using your domain email. It's going to reply using the Gmail address you sent it to. Anyways, let me just um, do the setup so you guys can see. Right, so over here, select the drop down menu and tap your website. This is my website, so I'm just going to tap it and then I'm going to, next I'm going to tap add forwarder. Now you want to impute the domain email here. One of my emails is business at hustex.com, so that's what I'm going to impute here. And now I'm going to impute my Gmail address here. Alright, so essentially this is how it works. Every email coming into this address, business at shoestex.com or your address will get copied into this email address which is the gmail address you want to send it to and then when you're done i don't do any other thing i don't even tap advanced option but let's see what this offers yeah no there's nothing here to all right so, so when you're done just tap add forwarder that's just about it. So like I said, whenever you receive an email, you shouldn't respond using your Gmail app because the user is going to receive the message from the Gmail email address. But um, you have to come back into your um, cPanel and check your emails from there, log into the business or whatever it is, your domain email, and then respond to them from there. And um, if you delete the email that gets sent to the Gmail address, it's not going to delete here. You're only deleting the copy you send to the Gmail app, so I have to keep that in mind as well. I'll show you an example, but uh, I don't really have an extra email and I don't want to create another one. So, so if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll respond as fast as I can. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.